As you can see, his stats are pretty good. He is six foot one, but the, his, his defense is actually pretty good, and he's very, very, very fast. Seventeen Hall of Fame badges as well, as well, as well, as well. Um, then with my free pink diamond card, I got my pink diamond Zach Levine from the Locker Code for Easter, which is really nice because I did need needed an upgrade uh, to my shooting guard position.
Chicago and Indiana, you know, going to be clawing their ways, it looks like, into the NBA playoffs, which uh, I think will be really cool. I mean, uh, Toronto is right behind them, uh, the Chicago Bulls right now, and that would be really nice to see, but who knows, you know, anything could really happen in the, in the, in the next couple of games to see where the teams really, really shape up. transitioning into wins yet. 
I should probably look up how that even works so I can do like a little preview, but um, you know, for the West, it's going to be completely wide open, like any of those teams could win. Um, if it is, you know, uh, the 7th versus 10, 8 versus 9, or if it is 7 and 8 versus, you know, the, the against each other, and then the ninth and 10th against each other, those are going to be some great games, and obviously we all know that the, the, the power that Golden State holds, they can, they can, they can upset series to even get into the playoffs or playing sorry to get into the playoffs uh they could upset any team in the playoffs because obviously with a sort of um you know mvp candidate in steph curry and the the, the potential that team has together they, they could really upset any team obviously with you know i don't want to say you know fool's gold of a team with the jazz or the suns but you know those teams are definitely up there record-wise, the first time in years, in years, and years, and years, it's been forever since Utah or Phoenix have been sort of, um, sort of the top-tier teams in the West, um, who knows if it's, you know, again, fool's gold or not, we're gonna have to find out, but, um, I'm gonna be really excited to see that, so as of right now, uh, Utah would play Memphis, Phoenix would play Dallas, Clippers would play the Blazers, and Denver face off against the Lakers, which is similar to what I showed you guys in my, uh, what was that? It was like halfway through the year. I did a, uh, a playoff simulator and I let 2K actually simulate who would win. And I think, didn't, I think Phoenix, I think it was either Phoenix or the Sixers won the championship for that, but it was something super wild. But, um, man, that would be all very crazy. I think, I mean, I think they would all be fairly close besides Clippers and Blazers. I think the Clippers would absolutely demolish the Blazers. <laughs> There's no way the, 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 the Clippers have too many good perimeter defenders to even even do anything uh, for Portland for, to even do anything. So I think the Clippers would absolutely dem demolish them. And um, I think Utah would definitely, you know, pretty handily beat Memphis as well. Uh, Phoenix and Dallas. Now that actually be very interesting. That'd be actually a lot of fun to watch. And then obviously, you know, Lakers versus Denver in the first round with a healthy, a healthy Anthony Davis and LeBron James. A, 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 a repeat matchup of the Western Conference Finals. Oh my God, like Denver could definitely upset the Lakers. The Lakers could dominate Denver. It could go either way and I wouldn't be surprised at all. And then out, out in the East, you would have a first round matchup of Philly and Boston in the first round. <laughs> Who would have thought Philly and Boston would be facing each other in the first round? Man, that's totally crazy. Then you have Brooklyn against New York, which, wow, that would also be super crazy if Brooklyn, uh, you know, New York had to go up against New York, New York. Uh, uh, hopefully they would have fans, you know, there attending at the time, at least some fans. Because, man, that'd be super crazy to watch for, for fans in that area, I'm sure. Bucks going up against the Miami Heat, which they did face off against each other, I think, in the f second round of the playoffs last year, and, uh, you know, it's definitely a different Milwaukee team, Giannis, hopefully, you know, knock on wood, isn't going to be hurt during that time, and Miami does look good still to this day.
pretty rough couple of days for me and hopefully uh, for you guys you specifically are doing very 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 well um, <laughs> I wish I could talk about this game a little bit more but again like I said it's, it's just definitely just not that great uh, I think the gameplay is okay I think it's fine I, everything about this game is just okay actually from one of my friends which was pretty nice so I didn't have to spend my you know real uh, money on this game because man I'd be pretty upset um, you know a lot of people say this game's even better on current gen than next gen which I don't really have like that strong an opinion on I guess I guess both of them are pretty okay I guess um, but yeah as you can see man some of the cards I have are really good and some of the cards I have Zaclavine card is pretty sus, not gonna lie. Uh, throughout this video, he felt like he was a great card who could score very easily, but then also at some points in time in the game, like you just saw, he misses wide open shots, and it doesn't really make any sense that he would miss them, but hey, that is 2K for you, 2K. It's, 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 it's just RNG. It's just completely random if you make or miss a shot. It's completely random what animations you get. It's completely random what packs you get. It's completely random with the luck you get. It's completely random with um, uh, foul calls. It's completely random with bump steals and steals and turnovers in general. The game, the gameplay, and everything just depends on RNG and things you can't control, which is so stupid in basketball, which everything in your own control. <laughs> um, I really hope next year's 2K is more, uh, I don't want to say realistic, because obviously you can't have a super realistic game, because then, you know, the game would be unplayable. But I think just more, it needs more. And, um, like, I get it, 2K is a video game, and it's pretty much an arcade style seems like it's not completely 100% accurate, which is okay, but, you know, if they're trying to push this, oh my god, it's so real, it's so real, it's so this, it's so that, but you'd have, you know, you can have Clay Thompson, or even just like me, having Zach Levine miss wide open threes for no reason, uh, where in real life, if, you know, either of those players got a wide open threes like they do in this game, they would miss a shot, because that's how good they are, but in 2K, they make them suck. For no reason whatsoever, so um, it's definitely pretty weird. You guys should also let me let me know. Definitely let me know. I should get or look out for at least uh, obviously my team is not great at all and I'm now officially finally under 200k if you're wondering as a baller if you don't play the game how do you have 200k in the team um, that's because earlier on in the year I did a pack opening and got pink diamond Ray Allen when he first dropped I think it was like one of the first days he came out and uh, I got like 220k uh, somewhere around there and I still barely broken under uh, uh, 200k since now. And I have, you know, almost a full pink diamond lineup. So I feel pretty accomplished about that. Um, but yeah, I really like my team. For how casual my team is, I'm not really too picky about it. I think definitely the Sabonis card is definitely my best card. I think he plays and feels and runs the best. Um, I know Jason Kidd and Stockton aren't really the best point cards. I really want to get better upgraded versions for them. But, uh, yeah, I think definitely the Zach Levine card is, is pretty sus, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely not the best card. Look at that crazy layup. <laughs> um, but you can tell this is definitely sort of like a free 2K card. Any free 2K card like this card, or even the Kevin Love card, the Kevin Love card is just, they're just not good cards. They're just, they're basically like amethyst cards with, with pink diamond, uh, stats, I guess. They don't make shots that they're supposed to make, and they just have weird... Uh, animations and, and they just don't, you know, play like regular Pink Diamond cards.
as like uh, Sabonis or, or players like that. But um, if you know 2K, you know what I'm talking about. They're just sort of, you know, false ruby cards, I guess you could say. this surgery actually took a lot out of me <laughs> more than I thought but anyways I'd be